How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Green Dream Project. All right, Greenstatters, we need your help. Let's talk about it. Now, if you caught our last video, you know we did three courses of bags. Wow, three consecutive days. That doesn't usually happen. But we got out here, we got it done. Now, of course, three courses is my limit. Now I gotta get over here, I gotta backfill. And it's gonna be a lot of backfilling at this point. Right now, I don't wanna take the chance of any dirt getting inside this pipe. So I'm gonna put an addition on here. Got my trusted Odie's. And I'm just gonna attach the pipe. I got my coupler, got a little pipe there. Screw them all together. Yeah, that should do it. Every day I want to backfill. It always seems windy. So I had to use a bunch of rocks to keep the plastic over the bags. I think that should hold. <laughs> I might need a few more rocks. But I gotta get busy. I gotta get this dirt around the bags because we need to keep building up this wall. Now, I worked late into the night last night and I still didn't quite get the backfilling done. But I'm very close. I got just a little over one side left to do. But I tell you, I was on a roll last night. It was dark, temperatures were dropping quick, and I had been shoveling for hours. And I was on some kind of shoveling high. I almost didn't want to stop. And uh, even though it was cold, I couldn't feel a thing. I, I was just constantly moving back and forth. I probably should have just kept going. Now here it is, next morning. I think I can knock this out pretty quick. Just one side even though it's three layers of bags that I gotta fill up. I don't think this will take too long. It's incredible the amount of dirt it takes not only to fill these bags, but to do the backfilling. He was looking at me. Then he saw I brought the camera over, then he's quickly looked away. Why are you so camera shy? Huh? This guy hates the camera, he's like, oh, he's coming back. Oh, he's got a camera. <laughs> what you got in your hand there? Are you ripping out his fur? It just comes out. <laughs> it comes out when you keep pulling at it? Well, sometimes I have to groom him like this. You like that? <laughs> He's like, oh, I still got the camera. This guy's tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. You gonna show mommy what you brought? What'd you get? You gonna show mommy what you brought home? You got a new treasure? Uh oh, new bone. <laughs> With the cooler weather, this guy has just been going out of his mind. I think, you know, he's probably getting bored, probably getting anxious, got a lot of energy to burn. So I took him for a long walk. Again, we made it to the dead cow, and he, he brought this thing all the way back. This thing is huge. I also grabbed a little souvenir to bring back home. This is crazy. Oh, hey. It's like the uh, the bottom part of the jaw. Oh. Now do we have the full <laughs> we might have the skull? We might have the full skull. Minus some teeth. You guys have some weird morbid habits. <laughs> Oh, there is ice on there. 
Ah, uh, well, I guess that shouldn't surprise me. Uh, the temperatures did get pretty low last night. But uh, as the temperatures get colder, we're gonna have to be aware of that and we might have to adjust our building to that a little bit. We'll probably talk a little bit more of that as it comes to it, but we might need to protect the bags from freezing. But uh, we're about to start, eh? Course number 13, lucky number 13. Time got away from us yesterday. By the time we got the barbed wire on, it's getting kind of late. So we figured it was much too late to start a course. Building as we are, other like chores that need to get kind of get done, kind of get put to the wayside. So we just kind of use that opportunity to uh, get caught up on some of that stuff. <laughs> you got to do some dishes, otherwise you can't eat them, right? <laughs> we need food too. Oh yeah, food. So like I was saying earlier, we need your help. We're coming to the end of this part of the build and we're trying to decide what we should work on next. So now here is my thoughts. We did the root cellar, which made sense because we were able to connect the root cellar to the cistern and get that all situated. And then I wanted to do the next underground portion just to lock everything in place and make sure everything was stable, that nothing would collapse. Now we're gonna have both underground structures done. My original thinking was going back and doing the dome above the root cellar, which would be the east dome. But now my thinking is just go ahead and keep building on top of the bedroom, which would be the west dome. The west dome will actually be where the main electrical gets piped into. So over there is the water, over here is the electrical. Now we probably need both before we can move in, but I just, I'm not sure which one we want to start with. Working on that half bag. I'd just like to uh, make note, the bag Jess is working on here is the one that's gonna be underneath the next step. So she's doing a half bag. So that when I put that next stair in, it's not gonna raise it up. What was your thinking? This one might make more sense because of the placement of the soil that we're going to be using. So we used up a lot of the big piles that were right around here. The next closest one to this area is going to be just past the, the root cellar. So if we do the east dome, the dirt is right there. But if we do the east dome and use up that dirt, that'll be just that much farther to go to bring that dirt from the last pile over to the west dome. We've actually had it a lot easier building these underground portions because the dirt was right around there, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna have to truck in that dirt from a little bit of a distance. So I don't know how much, like how much time does that save? Does that make sense or not? And time is kind of of the essence. We'd like to get this house built uh, before May. Uh-oh. Gonna have to bury his bone right away. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe not the best spot to bury that. <laughs> Don't let me forget that he put that bow in there. I can't believe he jumped down there. He's like, that's the perfect spot. He doesn't care how he's gonna get out. He's... It should be interesting to see how he gets out. So in the east dome, the one above the root cellar will kind of be the kitchen bathroom eventually. The west dome is kind of like the living communal space. Like if we have guests over or something living like that. Room. Living room. And maybe a, an office area. Well, maybe. We'll see if you're a good girl. Office space would be nice with all the books and stuff we have and everything like that. That'd be nice. A little study. So what do you think? Put that down below. We want to hear what you have to say. You might get to decide on which dome we start next. What would you do if you were in our position? We're going to read through all of them, and then we're going to make a decision. Well, uh, we'll let you know on that next video, so definitely watch that, and uh, we'll see which dome goes up first. Stay tuned. I'm hoping, I'm hoping in the next video we'll have this wall complete. Definitely stick around and watch that. Ah. I'm excited. I'm excited, we're almost there. I might also be experiencing a little bit of a tamping high. I uh, just got done tamping, so. <laughs> we'll catch you on the next video. See you later, everyone.